Hello and welcome back to Things to Do in a Game. My name is Steeler, and today we're doing Things to Do in the Powder Toy uh, Fun with Science. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of uh, wondering about the things to do in it. In front of all my videos, I put TTDI, but a lot of them, like this, isn't really a things to do in because who, who would want to have fun with science? Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that's actually a good point. I don't know. I'm just sort of keeping like a good old trend here. But this is basically like a, a first impression. Well, it's actually not first impressions. I've done this before. But uh, it's uh, basically just uh, telling you about it. Anyway, this is called The Powder Toy, a very strange name, and it is a completely free, super in-depth, uh, just blow em up, the physics materials burn stuff. Yes, that's very descriptive of what it is, uh, but it is just, uh, you can see up here, uh, it tells you the pressure, it will tell you the temperatures, and uh, different materials, such as down here, will react with each other, and you have all these things on the side that you can actually build. And uh, as I go through here, I'll just be doing some fun with science, and I'll be showing you these little f fun things that would actually happen in real life, because it, it does basically simulate real life, and I'll also tell you what I do and don't like about it. And uh, so, f for example, we'll just start off with something simple here. Um, there's different walls. You can get to the subcategories here, and then you have the individual objects here, like a uh, uh, basic wall blocks everything. This is probably the most used one, but uh, for example, if we do this, just make like a little vat or whatever you call it, and uh, yeah, allows energy particles but blocks all other particles, so this would be like heat, light, just any type of energy, just not uh, solid particles. So we have that, and then we go down to here to uh, liquids, and yes, you can have lava, and you pour it on in here, ooh, look at that, that's nice. And you can see there on the top right, I can't hover over it because it'll disappear, but it says lava temperature is 1522 degrees, and it also tells you the pressure of it, and it will slowly, actually very slowly, cool off. And uh, we'll get our old walls back again, and I'll show you something just really quick here. Uh, back down to liquids, we get some water, and see what happens is when you pour it down here, the water will begin to... Um, heat up. You can see that the pressure. Oh, yep, there it goes. Whoosh, and then it just goes out as water vapor particles. Oh, this is just so fun because you can mess around in many ways. We and uh, it, it actually looks not too bad too. I mean, I know that the waters are just pixels, of course, but uh, it's not too bad. And you can see that's starting to boil over, boil over. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, so. Uh, if you guys want me to do an entire series on this, this is, of course, just a random thing Sunday sort of review of it. Ooh, there it goes. Wee! Ah, that's cool. Uh, uh, I'll definitely do a series, and you guys can give me suggestions on what to do next. And uh, that would always be fun. Let's see. That was all the liquids. Um, where's solids? There's solids. You can have ice, and you can put some ice right here. Now, see, only the liquids have physics. You can make the solids have physics, I believe. Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, but you can see that uh, the, if I can get right to the edge, you can see that the pressure is starting to change a little bit in there. Oh, it's very hard. But, uh, yeah, so this is always, this This is just a fun little mess around thing. So I'll be back in a sec when I come up with a cool idea. Okay, just a little bit later. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. In, uh, in this game is you make a big vat of lava and then close it off at the top so that all the pressure cannot escape. It's basically an indestructible little room here. And then you can just put some different materials on here and then slowly watch them turn red. The iron actually will turn red once it gets hot enough. Uh, you can actually draw in here a little bit. And then you can watch the iron temperature just go skyrocketing. Oh, oh, yeah, there it goes. You can see it turn red. I might have to do like a dramatic zoom in there. But, uh... Yeah, oh, you can see the temperature just absolutely going crazy. And then pretty soon it'll just heat up. And then what else can you do? Uh, go back down to solid. See, that's uh, probably one of the things I don't like is I wish you had to click on these because I'll accidentally hover over here and it will go to a different one. We can have some wood and then just draw it over here. We catch on fire. Oh, man, that'd make a great fuse. I actually do have fuses. There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't know what it does. And you can see the pressure inside of here is just building up because of everything I'm putting in here that slowly expands as it heats up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice. Look at that, that's awesome. Okay, um, let's see. One of my only other complaints besides the one I just told you would be the uh, uh, the window size. This is a free download, by the way. Link in the description. Uh, the window size is takes up like a fourth of your screen. I wish that you could full screen it because that'd make it better, but it'd probably like decrease the quality of it. But... Uh, yeah, it runs in 
it, that, that's why there's going to be black bars on the side of this because you actually can't expand it or even shrink it. It's always the same size. This is uh, heating up nicely here. Okay, there. That's basically everything. And now there's explosives in here. Explosives, there we go. So you can actually have fire right here, and you can see the frame rate drop horribly. Um, yes, there is C4. You can put some C4 in here. Boof, yes. Um, you can have gun. Gunpowder, of course, yes. Put some gunpowder on here. Boof, and just watch it blow up. Ah, see, I did it again. Where's explosives? Uh, I thought there were fireworks. Oh, yeah, here it is. Fireworks. Yay. And then... I guess the fireworks... It, oh, maybe it needs fire. Ah, of course it needs fire. Yay! Ah, it's such a pretty game. You just set it all on fire, and then... Whoosh. Yeah, so you can see the pressure inside is starting to get to 14, 15. It's uh, really expanding inside there. Oh, uh, what else is there? Radioactive. Yeah, you know, uh, why don't we just drop some uranium in some uh, 1500 degrees Celsius... Uh, lava here. Yeah, that that sounds safe. <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna make a bomb in there. Uh, I just showed you that one. Powders. Uh, this is what the game is known for, apparently, because it's called the powder game. Uh, this one actually has physics, so you can put sand in there, and then it'll melt into glass, and then the glass will melt into just nothingness, and it'll expand my vat here. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's some really hot uranium there. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that reacts with water. What hair? I can't see that. That's one of the only other complaints is you can't overlap. So you can see I'm clicking here, but nothing happens. I have to click it up here. So yeah, it's very, very unfortunate. Uh, gases. What do we have for gases here? We have some plasma, extremely hot. Oh wow, that is extremely hot. <laughs> Almost ten thousand degrees Celsius. Uh, let's see. Already done explosives. Force. Um, I don't want to get into that stuff. I don't know what it does. Sensors. Don't know what that does. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I don't know what it does. Uh, you can actually have batteries in here that will uh, ignite a a fuse, a fuse. Uh, electronics. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Here's the battery. Generates infinite electricity. And we'll, we'll just uh, burn the battery. Maybe. Okay, sure. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll do that later. Uh, probably my favorite is just the bait. Oh, I keep hitting the table. Sorry about that. And also sorry about my voice. I'm a bit sick today. I don't know if you'll notice the difference or not. Uh, solids in here. Uh, solids, liquids, and explosives. Those three right there are the three main things I use because they're just so fun. Like you can put coal in here and then watch it slow. Oh, look at that. It's like a like a thermometer and then it just breaks apart for some reason and then it catches the entire thing on fire, turns red. It's so cool. Look at that. Oof. Is that really... Hold on, wait. What temperature does it get up to? It doesn't. It doesn't even get up to a temperature. It's just all of a sudden brittle. It's just all of a sudden brittle and breaks apart. It's really funny. What's going on over here? Oh, the battery's on fire. Yeah, that's very safe, isn't it? <laughs> Put some more coal on it. But yeah, this is just an outstanding game. Uh, go ahead and get it yourself. Just click the link in the description, download it, and I don't know. I, I had to extract all files. Uh, just usually it does that on my stupid computer here. Speaking of that, I gotta get a new computer here pretty soon. But uh, this is the 98th video, I believe, so make sure to tune in for my 100th video, which should be uh, sometime next week or this week, depending on when you watch this. Uh, sorry, I had to record this when I was sick. Oh, I'm just going to watch this in the background. Wee. Uh, sorry, I had to record this when I was sick. It's just uh, I didn't have a pre-recorded one because I'm lazy, and uh, there you go. <laughs> so I had to do this one today if I wanted to keep up my consistency. What is this in here? That's, uh, I don't know what that is. What, what, what is this? B-C-O-L. Is that something to do with coal, maybe? I don't know. You can have bricks. That will just incinerate in there. Look at how big this tub has gotten. Oh, this is just fun. You gotta play it for yourself. Uh, quartz break one right here. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. I don't know about all this stuff. Here, put some gold in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we can melt some gold. Maybe that's what I can do next time. If you guys like this, let me know. Give me an actual objective. I'm just messing around here. If you give me an actual objective, like make a air-powered gun by, you know, getting a lot of pressure in there and then getting some glass, which is one of my favorites, because the glass under high pressure, uh, it'll say it right here, um, shatters under high pressure. What you can do is make like an air cannon. If enough pressure builds up, it'll break right through the gra glass, and then it will push some, like, sand out, out of the way, and it'll go poof so cool it's so cool here let's let's melt some glass i like this part right here where it goes up like a um a temperature thing 
Yeah, because that's exactly what they're called, aren't they? All right, let's um, let's drop the frame rate massively, and I'll stop it right here. So thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe, like, recommend, and comment new ideas and games. I've been Steeler, and I will see you for the next one. If you like this, I'll make it into a series, and you guys can give me some objectives to do. Oh, melt the gold. Look at that frame rate. It's at 16. It's, it's actually doing pretty good, considering how much is on screen. And now it's not. <laughs> uh, okay, see you later.